Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Happy Friday, everyone. Good morning to you. We've made it to the end of another work week, and of course, some of you were off earlier in the week as we were dealing with those winter weather conditions. Well, we had a brief warm up yesterday. Cold front has already cleared our area, and we will have cooler conditions for today through this weekend. But now to see what's currently going on is 49 degrees here in Baton Rouge. Feels like temp is at 45 and winds are out of the north at 10 miles per hour. And taking a look at temperatures around the area, 48 in Denham Springs, 41 in Liberty and 34 in Woodville. Now again, cold front has already cleared our area. We started uh, having the rain pushing out as well just with that cold front sometime late yesterday evening and during the overnight hours that rain started clearing our area. So again, we'll stay, be staying dry through the rest of this morning and also the rest of this weekend. Now today will be a beautiful day, plenty of sunshine, but it will be breezy and that will of course will help it to feel colder as we'll have that breezy northerly wind flow. Winds will be out the north around 15 to 20 miles per hour, but our winds could possibly gust up to 25 miles per hour. The high will be near 47 for Woodville, 50 for New Roads, and 52 for Baton Rouge. And our overnight lows will be getting down into the upper teens and mid-20s across our area. 24 is the low for Baton Rouge and 19 for Liberty. And check out those wind chill values. So again, very cold, another cold night where we also will have a wind chill advisory issued and a hard freeze warning. So the wind chill advisory will be in effect for the greater Baton Rouge area from midnight through 9 a.m. Saturday morning. Morning. That's the same time frame for the hard freeze warning that's in effect for the North Shore, Greater Baton Rouge area, and the South Shore in Greater New Orleans area will be under a freeze warning again midnight through 9 a.m. And we'll have another one issued for Sunday morning at for that same time frame, midnight through 9 a.m. So again, don't forget to protect the four Ps, people, pets, plants, and pipes. Please bring your pets in. It's also too cold for them. Bring in your plants and make sure you have adequate heating. And of course, check on the elderly to make sure they have adequate heating as well. And don't forget to wrap your pipes and leave your faucets dripping. Now, highs for tomorrow will be in the 40s range. So again, a beautiful day for your Saturday, but it will be very cold and chilly. And highs will still be staying in the 40s for Sunday. And our overnight lows will be in the 20s for Saturday and Sunday mornings. Now, as we'll have cold and dry weather for this weekend, we'll start to shift gears as our weather pattern will be changing for next week. We'll start to get warmer, Southerly, southeasterly wind flow will be pushing in that warmer air back into the region and also more moisture will be increasing as well and rain chances will be going up. We have a 30% chance on Monday, 70% chance for your Tuesday and rain chances will still be staying high through the rest of the week. And as of now, the Weather Prediction Center has the greater Baton Rouge area possibly accumulating at least five to six inches of rainfall over the next week. Now, as mentioned before, depending on how much rainfall we actually get, that could determine the actual amounts that we Received. But as of now, the Weather Prediction Center has us possibly accumulating at least five to six inches of rainfall over the next week. So again, staying dry for today and through this weekend, but then rain chances will start going up again for your Monday and we'll have higher rain chances for Tuesday through the end of next week. And it'll be warmer with highs near 70 on Monday and in the low 70s on Tuesday through Thursday.